Augustusing young life of a tri-state man altered forever by a driver high on drugs and speeding up I-75 at more than 100 miles per hour. Elliot Feltner will never be able to walk again after another young man, Marshall Dutton, crashed into Feltner last August. Our Jay Warren was at Dutton's sentencing today and has the story from Lebanon. Leading up to today's sentencing, Marshall Dutton had pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicular assault after barreling into Elliot Feltner in August of last year. He was sentenced to 60 months in prison, and today emotions flowed from both the family of the victim and the defendant. It was late August when Marshall Dutton, high on Xanax, pot, morphine, and cocaine, caused the crash that destroyed the life of Elliot Feltner. Right after the crash, Feltner was revived from death twice before stabilizing. After multiple surgeries, Feltner finally back home, uses a feeding tube, and will never be able to walk again. Your decision today on the sentence will not, will have no bearing on us. We will not feel vindicated, we will not feel like the score has been evened. It's very unlikely that we will ever mention the defendant's name in our household ever again. Our sole focus is on getting Elliot recovered and better. Elliot Feltner was a gifted athlete and graduated UC with a promising film career, but all of that was taken. The defendant's father said he used to sit in judgment of people just like his son. And every news thing you turn on, and you have to think that what kind of family, where did that come from? But it's not true. It comes from everywhere. As for the defendant, he read a handwritten letter of apology. I'm truly sorry. No, it won't be today or anytime soon. I hope that one day you all find it in your heart to forgive me. I made a terrible mistake that I'll never be able to take back. I live with it. I live with what I've done as a weight on my shoulders for the rest of my life. Again, Marshall Dutton sentenced to 60 months in prison. His driver's license will be suspended for a maximum of 10 years when he gets out. Jay Warren, 990 Side, Lebanon.